Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me today. How might your bench press form be contributing to rotator cuff discomfort? We'll go over a few elements. First of all, as many people know, to get into position when you're lying on the bench, to set the upper back with good foundation, the shoulder blades should be slightly together, slightly down, or the scapula slightly retracted and depressed. Throughout the move, the shoulder blades should stay in that exact position to prevent destabilization. However, what commonly occurs is that as people are keeping the back set, they still might allow the shoulder to come forward a little too much off the bench or internally rotate the shoulder. So let's have a closer look at that. So here we are on the bench. The arms are extended. Shoulder blades are slightly retracted and depressed. Back, lower back is slightly extended. Now, when the elbows come down, they should go at about, I like to do about a 30 degree angle, 45 degree angle, slightly below the bench. And as you're extending the arms, keep the shoulders pulling back into the bench. Shoulders stay back, shoulders stay back. But at the same time, you must be able to straighten the arm fully. So often what I see is this. One factor, okay, straighten the arm. So when people are here, if your biceps are short and tight and you want to straighten your arms, you actually can't do that. So instead what happens is this. And then again, you destabilize the rotator cuff and you'll be pulling on the connective tissues around that joint. Secondly, okay, I want to keep the shoulders back into the bench. And as we try to straighten the arms, no, they won't straighten. So instead, in doing people internally rotate the shoulders to try to extend the elbows. So there's one simple thing that I find often helps alleviate both of those issues. And that is, okay, we're going to start, arms are extended, shoulder blades are tracked in and down, elbows come down, slightly below, below bench level, the chest is wide. And as you extend the arms, think about keeping the shoulders down from the ears. Keep the shoulders pulling down from the ears and straighten the arms, keep the shoulders back. When you perform that idea of setting the levator scapula here will help to keep the, the humerus in place in the shoulder and keep the shoulder externally rotated. And when you maintain that external rotation in your rotator cuff, then again, it will stay in the socket and prevent that irritation around the joint. So give it a try, see if that helps you. Um, on our Monday classes, we do various chest press variations, so please join us. Um, my name is Utara, the YouTube channel. We have many variations of rotator cuff and shoulder care work, and the, the link to our Zoom classes it is in the comments section below. Thanks for joining me. Stay strong and become stronger. Thanks so much. Bye now.